Now, the last time we talked about Mr. Ava, he was having a Diddy Discord party with his friends in his di secret Discord server, where at the time they were 14, 15, where Mr. Ava at the time was 20, 21 years old. His friends saying, when does the Diddy party start? When are we going to start posting stuff? We're saying, okay, everyone, this chat never happened. Griffin, purge it. Once this is done, we're about to get freaky. We make separate channel and delete it. Chris replying, make a chat called server secrets and give everyone active here right now permission to join. But once once this is done, this never happened. Just like when you finish watching your Haram videos, you go in your browser history and you delete it. But in this case, it was a group teamwork where they held hands and they deleted it together. And just three days ago, Mr. Nathan was too kind to drop 500,000 messages on the Discord chats between not only Mr. Ava and his 14-year-old friends, but Mr. Beast being in that conversation as well. This is the underage person in the Discord saying, no, he's not. His uh, ding-dong isn't big enough. I'll know. Mr. B saying, no, I know his cucumber size and it's huge. Talking about Mr. Ava's cucumber size. Chris replying, ha ha ha, Mr. Beast joins in the comments on my cucumber size. I love it. Now, obviously, after that chat, you tell yourself, well, this is obviously fake. This is either photoshopped or even if this was this happened in the Discord chat, anyone can name themselves anything they want. I told the same thing to myself. I was like, there's no way this is Mr. Beast. And after that post being all over Twitter, Community Note came and slapped them with, this is not real. Anyone can do, anyone can be anyone on Discord. There's no proof that this is Mr. Beast. Just debunking the whole thing. And the reason I named this video Mr. Beast situation got super, super worse is because it is now confirmed that that was indeed Mr. Beast. He used to get freaky with Chris in his Diddy Discord chat parties. Now, the whole incident happened in 2017. In 2020, someone said Jimmy left this server, being the private freaky sessions that they used to have. August of 2017, Mr. Beast, the same person who's, who said that I know Chris's uh, Kumba size it is absolutely huge and they were talking about this whole thing in front of kids this is the same username now thanks to this person over here for shining some light on it saying the account that posted this had its user id leaked in the chat logs the account had chris friends role keep in mind the user ids never change even after the name changes so you see all these numbers the way discord works is you can change the name you can change the number the four digit number next to it but you can never change the user id which is around 15 digit number mr beast started with 2475 with that info you can hook up the user id on sites such as discord lookup this website tells you the account is still active and has a new name meaning it's changed from mr beast to jack the goat now i actually put the 15 digit number in this website and it turned out it is true it is jack keen indeed now what makes it super super spicy in this situation well kush this who the fuck is jack keen is it mr beast's third cousin who stole his phone and used it what what does he have to do how is he related to mr beast mr beast gaming owned by who jack the goat himself he also said this account also has his official accounts link to it keep in mind you cannot link accounts that you cannot log into you search up the name jack keen over here you open it up you go down below you see there's a connection of youtube Lock ins Mr. Beast's gaming and Mr. Beast's main channel. Where just like TikTok, when you link your YouTube and your Instagram down in your bio, you have to log in first. And this person logged in into two accounts. The main one being Mr. Beast's main channel. And what happened to the community notes that were under those Twitter tweets between Mr. Beast saying that this is not Mr. Beast. Anyone can be Mr. Beast. Well, they backed off. They vanished. They went to John Cena mode. They are no longer there because this is proof right here. And Twitter is agreeing with it that this indeed was Mr. Beast. <laughs> and with Mr. Beast saying that he hired an independent investigator to get on top of things and see what Mr. Ava has been up to, this disgusting creature. I had no idea that this whole thing was happening. This is absolutely unacceptable. I will get on top of things. There's no place for these piece of shit in my company. I will get on top of this and boom. Mr. Beast was doing basically the same thing. It is not a good time to be Mr. Beast right now, especially with a few days ago. After the last video we talked about yesterday on him bringing the games, picking out his friends to win the challenges, everything being fake, promoting gambling to kids, and now this. With the amount of crazy shit that's been happening this week, I won't be surprised if Mr. Beast changes his name to Two-Face. He makes a statement replying to all these things. You either die a hero or you live long enough to see you yourself into a villain.
Mr. Beast statement. Shut up! Next Mr. Beast video. I am taking away 100 homes from the families that the homes that I gave them. Shut up! Next video. I am making 1,000 people go blind. Shut up! I am stealing dogs. I am. It's gonna, it's, it's gonna turn into a whole fucking villain story. <laughs> and with that being said, let the games begin. Let's go through all the. Not all of them. We don't have time for 500,000. You know chat logs but let's go through the most important ones that have been going viral in the past couple of days this underage person posts an attachment chris replying to it saying she's only 14. damn what did you think she was 16 and legal in some states of course if she's 14 i'm 14. haha uh -huh, mr beast joined the community to just talk about my cucumba size i love it and this underage person says i love your cucumba chris chris has a huge cucumba I can confirm. This person says I don't have any issues with the channel, but I have an issue with the minors that have access to the channel. Is there even a way to do it? Not really, no. So what do we do then? Remove it? People were saying, no, I like it. Please keep it. Chris replying to the person saying remove it because there are minors here says, yeah, true. But I mean, to be fair, the internet is full of corn. Chris replies to the whole situation. What am I, a parent? I mean, what do you expect from Chris when he was 20, 21 years old, having 14 year old besties, holding hands and having a Discord ditty party? What do you expect? You expect them to remove it while he's already doing it? with the miners and they're all enjoying their time he went on and he started just making memes and just started joking more and saying send me more haram videos and pictures kick that guy who came and killed the whole vibe let's turn this party up bring some anime titties and let's talk about cucumba conversation now this is where it gets absolutely disgusting chris saying there's nothing more free than peeing in the shower facts Chris also saying waterproof phone gang and sends an attachment. And his 14-year-old besties are hyping him up. So all that cucumba conversation that was happening between Jimmy, Chris, and all his 14-year-old besties. That attachment was it. A proof was it. His cucumba actually there. We don't know. It is alleged. There's no picture of it. It just so it just shows a picture was attached him in the shower and the person lava who was working for mr b's gaming at the time and was besties with uh mr ava when this news first came out he was protecting mr ava and he was like no he never did anything to me he's absolutely fine he's such a nice person and just a few days ago he posted this based on the recent screenshots and messages i would like to make a statement about the discord situation and this is after the messages were leaked this was five six years ago and i thought i had a good memory of the situation but i was wrong after reading the chat logs this stuff was inappropriate and wrong bro basically caved and last time we talked about how things can come out fake as well some things are not to be trusted they need to be investigated and th there needs to be evidence behind it and we talked about this specific video where it was a conversation between this person who claimed to be 13 14 years old at the time and was texting with mr ava mr ava saying you don't want anything expensive for your birthday i can spoil you um i don't know it's fine look at my snap and under that video last time we covered the community notes had a note saying this is fake and the video had like few like a one or two max three million views on it there was a community note there but this person posted this talking about this whole situation and it has 5 million views but no community notes is there a reason there's no community note 5 million views 100 percent, especially with these strong allegations they should be on top of this but this was posted in 23rd of july did the community note remove it is the community note confused as well don't know what to believe anymore and just thinks actually mr beast did this whole thing or what things got out of hand real quick sonny v2 made that video last year talking about how chris is going to be ruining mr b's whole reputation and whole career and it turned out to be true chris gets thrown under the bus and everyone took mr beast and threw him under the bus as well with hacking into this shit discovering the investigations that they did and the ch chat discord leaks the dd parties and everything just came out now this is where it gets tricky talking to a minor is absolutely unforgivable inexcusable there, no way you can talk to a minor like that measuring cucumba sizes and saying i know chris's size it's unacceptable no, no matter how edgy it is these are kids and you are 20 21 years old you are men talking about these things in front of these people and why is this going to be now complicated because youtube is behind mr beast 
a lot of people are still behind Mr. Beast. Even after this whole chat logs, after all these proofs are coming out, they're still supporting him. And the majority of people out of the 300 million subscribers that he has, how many of them do you think actually know about his behavior? I don't think anything is going to happen to him. And it is not kind of fair as well because... Dr. Disrespect talked to a minor inappropriately as well, and everyone just absolutely shit on. Does Mr. Beast deserve the safe treatment? 100%. Doesn't matter if he's helping 100 families, he's giving all this money out to people. He needs to be held accountable for his actions. Do I think he's going to be held accountable? Fuck no. I look forward to what other statement he's going to be putting out. Another thing I want to point out is if you pay attention to large YouTubers commentary channels no one is speaking about absolutely no one is speaking about. it's very weird like for example i expected charlie to be posting about the situation not even like criticizing it just speaking about the situation that's the least because these are apps this is the highlight of the year this kicks out any other thing that happened Mr. Beast and his bestie got exposed for sharing cucumba sizes to kids but anyways we just gotta wait to see what mr b's pr team is going to respond because he's not going to be typing it his hr pr amr all his 200 people team is gonna text and there are going to be more leaks coming soon the internet is just floating every 10 minutes literally there's new screenshots of new leaks happening and drama alert posted saying that in the next four hours there's going to be new leaks to it if it's interesting enough if it's uh, worthy of making another video i'll keep you updated with what's happening absolutely wild situation but let me know your thoughts in the comments below uh, if you enjoyed the video give it a like if you enjoyed these yapping sessions subscribe take care of yourself i will see you at the next one